Welcome to the Build My Sports Biz Show, where we talk about how to create, build, and scale your own local sports training business. Let's go. It's time to get started with your host, Ben Neighbors. The show starts right now. All right, welcome back. I know it's been a while since I've done a podcast. And coming up, just to give you a little insight here, I will be putting out a podcast every single Monday, and it's gonna go out at eight o'clock a.m. Central Time for the rest of 2019. In today's episode, I wanted to share with you a couple of the common traits of the most successful coaches I mentored this year in 2018, because I've gotten a lot of questions from coaches who have been wanting to get my one-on-one help. Um, We recently just announced and launched our Inner Circle program. Uh, This is a group mastermind that is online and something you can check out on our website if you just go to buildmysportsbiz.com. But I wanted to go into depth here and talk about the coaches who have seen a lot of success this year and they all share five common traits that I'm gonna break down one by one. And really the the overall theme here that you need to understand is these coaches are disciplined and they're not motivated. And there's a clear difference. I've had a couple of podcasts in the past where I've broken that down and it's very clear that if you're disciplined, you're gonna be able to get the job done no matter what. If you're motivated just for a week or a couple weeks, that does not lead to long-term success. And there's a lot of coaches out there who've reached out to me. They get motivated after they watch one of my Instagram videos or if they listen to one of these podcasts. That is not enough. You have to be able to scrap the motivation and just become someone who's disciplined. And I'm going to go into five parts here. And what I would do if I was you, if you have a pen and piece of paper. I think this will be very helpful for you. I feel like this is something that can really change your business if you have these qualities. Whether you work with me or not, I think these are really going to help out. Okay. So number one, this is broken into five parts. Number one, the most successful coaches I've helped, and this is something that I personally do as well, is they go to bed early and they wake up early. And before they go to bed every night, they know exactly what they're doing tomorrow. And this is a resource I have for coaches in our consulting program, but it's basically a daily planner. And it's something that coaches can fill out every night before they go to bed. So this way, when they wake up, they have a structured to-do list. And this way, when you wake up, you simply follow that. You're not going to get distracted. You're not going to be working on other things. And having this daily schedule creates clarity in your business. I know this was the number one problem. If I had to look back at you know, the beginning of my career when I started my, my training business, the number one problem I had was I'd wake up, I wouldn't know what the heck to do. <laughs> and I would just start making things up. I would go look at my website. I'd randomly post something on Facebook. I'd randomly send an email to parents. I randomly would call parents to try to get referrals. There was nothing in my day that was structured and I ended up working way longer hours too on things that were just meaningless. But now if you have a daily schedule that you can follow, you're number one, you're going to work way less and number two, you're going to have way more focus when you are working. So you're going to get way more things done. Okay. So that's part one. If you don't have a daily schedule that you follow that's regimented, I can promise you like making that one change is going to be a just total game changer for you. Okay. So that's part one. Part two, this kind of goes along with part one is these coaches that have seen a lot of success. They're not being distracted throughout the day with social media. They focus only on the single thing that drives their business. And if you had to boil everything down with your business, if you want to be more successful, you have to be focusing more on sales and you need to have a sales system. You need to have a way 
of reaching out to parents and there's a way where they are applying for your program. That needs to be happening on a daily basis. And these coaches, I, I mean, the most successful coach I'm helping right now, he's not even on social media. Um, you wouldn't even find him. And that goes to show you that like he doesn't need that to succeed. Um, some coaches do need that to succeed, but they're not using social media to be distracted. They're using social media to market their business. And there is a clear difference. And I think if you follow me on Instagram, <clears throat> I think I do a good job of only using that just to market what I do with coaches. Um, and if you want to follow me and learn more about how I do that, just follow me at Ben Neighbors um, on Instagram. You'll find me and connect with me there. Okay. But in order to like really dominate with your business, if you're being distracted, I can guarantee you social media like YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, um, any sort of social media, that is holding you back. And if you can let go of that, that allows you more time to focus on the things that really matter, okay? Part three, which is these coaches are goal-oriented. Every week they have a specific goal with a specific deadline. And there's one thing, I, I think if you set goals at the beginning of the year and you have these really big goals, Having goals is great, but having deadlines is better. If you have a deadline every week to accomplish something really specific, then you're always going to build and get closer to your goal, okay? If you just have this big goal and it's daunting and you don't think you can get there, you're gonna get distracted and you're gonna find things that are more important and you're not going to prioritize your goal. Having a specific deadline that will solve that problem. So every week you should have a specific deadline of what your goal is, get it done by any means necessary and eliminate the distractions, okay? And the weekly goal that you set should be inching you closer and closer to whatever your mission is, whatever your big goal is for the year. And that's something you can write down. I would write down if maybe you have a part-time job right now or a job and you wanna get rid of that job and you wanna go full-time with training. Well, if your goal is to do that, you need to have a deadline. It needs to say, by May 1st, 2019, I am not working at this job anymore. And maybe you want more clients. So it should be, by May 1st, I have this many clients, and this is the income that's being generated month after month in my business. All right, so you need to have goals, but you need to have those deadlines. Deadlines is what allows you to achieve those goals a lot faster and you can set way more goals throughout the year if you have more deadlines, okay? Part four of why these coaches are successful is because they're willing to make adjustments and they are coachable. And I'm gonna give you a little backstory on me. When I first started my business, I did everything with cash and checks. Like parents would pay me cash and checks. If you've listened to these podcasts, I've produced, I think, over 130 of these, but you know, you should know if you listen to these podcasts, why doing, you know, cash and checks, why that doesn't work and why that's not scalable and why that actually makes your business way harder to run than if you do everything online the way that I've taught over the last couple of years on here and on YouTube and on Instagram and on my email newsletter. I talk about that all the time. I know this is a common problem, but for me personally, I was not willing to make adjustments at the beginning because I was very stubborn. And although I had someone who was helping me at the beginning, um, I would say you know a year and a half to two years in, I had someone who was, who was helping me. I sought out a mentor. They, they told me to go online and I was still stubborn. And I kept running into more mistakes. And I wasn't coachable at that time. And I don't know why I was like that. I felt like I just wanted to do everything on my own. But once I became coachable, my business, like, <laughs> it increased 10x because I started to follow what someone was telling me to do. And that advice was priceless. And I look at all the coaches that I'm helping now, the ones who are coachable, the ones who are willing to make adjustments, those are the ones who are able to fast track what they do. And Making changes, this could be, you know, learning how to sell better. This could be putting yourself out there or yourself out there on social media. This could be, you know, willing to cut old habits that have been slowing you down. It could be anything. But being coachable and making adjustments, that is the thing you have to do. 
in order to be successful. Because in order to be successful, you have to be willing to change what you're currently doing. And that's just flat out. You have to change what you're currently doing in order to reach more success. And in order to do that, you need to be coachable. You need to be open-minded. You have to be willing to make adjustments. Okay? And part five, this is something that, you know, I get asked all the time uh, from coaches that I talk to over the phone. Um, they, ask, they always ask me, you know, how much does it cost to get your one-on-one help? Um, and I'll just tell you now, with our consulting program, um, if you were to join, it would be a $6,000 investment to get my help for six months. Um, I recently introduced our inner circle program, which is like a f- tiny fraction of that cost, which is our group mastermind. But in order to get my one-on-one help, that's the fee. That's the investment. And a lot of coaches out there have the thought process of, well, I'm buying something. And when you buy something, typically you don't use it. I mean, if you think about stuff that's in, at your house or at your apartment, like a lot of stuff that you have, you just put it on the shelf and it just collects dust. The coaches who I've helped this year, who've seen the most success, they invest into my program. And this means that they're committed. This means that they're going to use and get my help daily. And the highest earner in 2018 is someone who I've talked to for at minimum two hours every single day, Monday through Friday. That is someone who is making an investment. They are not buying anything. And that investment, the return on that investment is unbelievable uh, for that coach because he's willing to put in the work. And when you invest into yourself, you have skin in the game. And when you have skin in the game, you will take it way more serious. Hey coach, thanks for listening to our show today. If you enjoyed the content, I'd really appreciate it if you would leave us a five-star review here on iTunes. If you want to attract more committed clients, generate more income, and create more freedom in your life, you'll want to check out our Inner Circle Mastermind. This exclusive group is reserved for coaches who want to build and scale a dominant sports training business. To learn more about the Inner Circle program, simply head over to our website at www.buildmysportsbiz.com. Thanks again for listening. I'll catch you later.